Hi folks, it's Mike here from Blast Smiths UK and today I'm talking about the probably the venerable <coughs> um, Skymax B6 LiPo battery balance charger. You can get these from Hobby King for about £20-£25 and it's important that you get one of the genuine ones and don't get one of the copies. You can tell the genuine one by the fact that it has this nice holographic sticker on the back with a security code. Uh, this is a nice sort of workhorse charger. We use about three or four of these here in the office to make sure that all our LiPos and uh, all our other <coughs> battery chargers are nicely uh, charged and safe to use. The best bit about the, uh, the B6 over and above the E4 that I've previously looked at is that this will charge, as you can see here, pretty much everything under the sun. So we used, we used to use this on our car battery uh, and on our leisure batteries until we got a dedicated leisure battery charger. We can also use it for lipos, you can use it for, um, you can use it for uh, lifes, which I conveniently have here, <coughs> and um, your standard nickel metal hydride and nickel cadmium uh, camera batteries. So it's a versatile little charger, it's a bit more expensive, but it's totally worth the money. Uh, to go with it, you'll need at a minimum a um, 60 watt, 12 volt, 5 amp, or 60 watt um, power supply unit with a barrel plug on the end. Those are usually bought, bought separately either from eBay or Hobby King. So to power it up, you bring two together. This is already plugged into my main supply and this one's ready for LiPo. But what we'll do is we'll go out and we'll start from scratch. Okay, so you've got this plugged in. In the box, you will find uh, a whole bunch of leads um, and Normally, the modern B6s, as you can see here, this has been machine heat shrunk. They will come with a Deans here to XT60 connector. Okay, so you need that or make one of your own. Older versions don't come with this, but if you can't find one in your box, you'll need to make your own. And you'll need the barrel plug to XT uh, to Deans male um, connector there. So the barrel plugs are obviously here on the side and they can go straight in like so. This array here is your one to six S um, sort of balance charging array. So your balance plugs on your batteries go into those plugs there. And so if we connect all this up like so, and then like so, and like so. So find the one that fits. This is a three S LiPo I'm charging here. And there we go. So to go, through, so I'm going to start from the beginning. I'm going to assume that this is set to something magical that isn't uh, LiPo. Um, and if I go through to use a set program, press enter, <coughs> find out what your LiPo type is here, and you can press and hold there. And if you go up and down, you'll notice it can do 3.6 Lion, uh, which are things like uh, IMRs and other uh, similar chemistries. Life, which is our friend here, the uh, high discharge life battery there. And back to LiPo. So once you've got LiPo 3.7 nominal, nominal voltage, press enter, press stop to go back, and then press back and forth until you get to program select LiPo. Press enter, and then you want to go to LiPo balance charge, okay? And the difference between LiPo charge and LiPo balance charge, broadly speaking, is that balance charge focuses on making sure that each and every single cell inside this battery, okay, and for a 3S there are three cells, is within um, within sort of 0 0.1 of a volt of each of, the, each of the cells. And that gives you the nice safe balance because if you end up with, ba uh, with a battery that's out of balance, then when a voltage is applied, current can move quickly between cells, which then causes, can cause significant damage and eventual failure. So it's important to LiPo balance charge, and this is something that the B6 and the E4 and all the other microprocessor control chargers do very well. And we always recommend that you take your uh, LiPo balance here. Okay, so this is, as we say, a bit more complicated than the four to set up because there's no nice dial. But to go enter balance mode, okay, and it will prompt you to what current do you want to charge the battery at. Now we always recommend uh, 1C. Some manufacturer, battery manufacturers will say you can do more. Uh, check with your battery manufacturer if you think that's the case. 
but we will always say 1C. So to work out what 1C is, you take the milliamp hour number presented on the package and you divide it by 1000. And as you can see, 1000 divided by 1000 is 1. So 1 amp, press enter. And then the voltage here is you know, reasonably uh, irrelevant. It's here that you're interested in. And we know that this is a 3S pack, so we want 3S here. And we can go back to 4S, uh, 2S, sorry. And this one goes all the way up to 6S. Now, you'll notice that 1S isn't presented, and that's because if you were to just use a 1S pack, then you would want to go to LiPo charge because there aren't any cells to balance. So if we go back to 3S and we press enter, okay, and the battery, the charger is now configured to charge. If you press and hold enter, it will allow you to think. It will check that what you told it is what it's seeing. Um, and if this doesn't match up, you've got problems in your battery. You need to investigate that. Uh, and you press enter and it will begin charging for you. And it will keep you apprised of what voltage it's going through and all the rest of it, time length. This number here is the number of milliamp hours it's put back into the battery. Uh, this reminds you that it's in balance and this tells you that it's life or LiPo, sorry, 3S. Okay, and you can adjust that in the in situ. You can also see what voltage is being applied to each of the cells going through using the thing. And you've got a series of safety timer and other settings that you can use here in the thing. We recommend you leave most of those uh, sort of alone. If it's a thoroughly useful workhorse um, charging unit, it's microprocessor controlled. We use quite a few of these here in the office and thoroughly recommend them. If you're looking for a charger, um, for your batteries and you want to go something a bit more involved, then the B6 is really where you want to be. Thank you for watching. I've put all the relevant links in the description. If you've got any questions, please don't, please don't hesitate to email us. Uh, Barsmiths UK don't currently sell battery chargers. We leave that to Hobby King, but sometimes it's just easier to hear from people who use these every day what the uh, chargers are like and perhaps uh, get a little bit more of a feel for what you get, what you're getting before you, before you buy.